Hi, and welcome to Tiger Art. Today we're gonna to be continuing the Kuna Mola project. For this mola that we're making out of cut paper, we began with a drawing. As many projects that are more complicated, starting with a drawing in small is called a thumbnail. So making a thumbnail is very helpful to artists. Why would this be the case? Well, let's think about it. If I have a big piece of paper, that could be a little bit expensive. Sometimes I have made paintings that are the size of like a wall on the side of a building. Now I didn't just go right at that first. That would be bad because if I were to try to do that, what if I make a mistake? My mistake could be 20 feet tall. That could be kind of hard to fix. So what you want to do is have a really good idea when you get to the big good copy. You want to know exactly what you want it to be and you want to make all your mistakes in the beginning when it's only like this big and it's easy to fix and it didn't really cost you much time or money. So pencil and paper is good. I usually fold a piece of paper into at least four boxes and that gives me a nice uh, rectangle that's the same size as uh, the same proportions as the whole page but much smaller so that I can practice and figure out my design. So that's how we started with a basic drawing. We want to focus on things that have very simple shapes. Then we moved into transferring that onto a black piece of paper that's going to be a bit bigger. Once we have that figured out, then we can get started on picking some colors and deciding how that part of the design works. I wanted to show you a few examples real quick to call your attention to something. Look at this first example. This is a really neat looking mola. One of the reasons why I like it so much is because of the focus on the big basic shapes. Working in big basic shapes for a design like this helps you see what the picture is. Because you have so many small pieces, if there's like smaller, more detailed shapes, it can get kind of confusing. It's almost like camouflage. You can't tell what the shape is. But if you work in only big, basic, bold shapes that are very simple, then you can do detailed, intricate patterns inside there and you'll still be able to see what the animal or plant is supposed to be. Look at the outlining here. The animal has been divided into different sections and each section has been outlined with a color. You may notice that it's been outlined more than once. So let's say you started with like a blue outline and that went all the way around. Then that wasn't standing out enough so you went around it again with a red outline that stacks kind of outside of that. Then after that you stack another outline that's orange around that. So you have three outlines in different colors. It makes the shape stand out and it makes the design look really cool. Okay, so take out your papers from last week. You should have had a drawing paper with four different animal ideas on it. At least four, you could have as many as eight. And then, um, well actually you don't really need that. You mostly need this one. This is the one where you drew on black. And like I said last time, you really should just do it with pencil. I did it with a white oil pastel just because I wanted you to be able to see it through my camera. But uh, you're also gonna need some pieces of colored paper. In your art kit, you have uh, an assortment of colored construction paper. I hope that you have been using that stuff but also not throwing away uh, the pieces when you're done with them because you can always use the scraps for something. Uh, here would be a perfect example. So we can use our scraps from previous classes to make this mola. I have already cut some pieces so that I'm ready to go but you will want to do the same. So I would suggest taking a piece of paper like your colored construction paper from your art kit. If you don't have any left, you can use any color construction paper is fine. Uh, you're going to cut it first into like long strips and then go across and cut them like this. So you'll do a little bit of that right now. Uh, you don't need to completely shred all of your construction paper. Just go one piece at a time and just cut a little bit off of it at a time. So a quick tip, if you want to make this go faster, let's say you're going to cut some green, 
you could go along and cut every little strip, but that might take a little too long. If you fold it in half and do it, now you're going to get twice as many. So every time you cut something this way, you're going to get two of them. And then you take these and you just put them together and cut like this. So you can get a lot more that way really quick. So focusing on just one color at a time. First you want to figure out what is going to be your outline color. Some rules for outline colors. Basic rule is it all has to be the same. So everything you did in pencil all needs to be gone over with the same exact color. That color cannot show up anywhere else. So if this is a turtle and I want it to be, I don't know, green on the inside here, I would not want to use green for the outline because I wouldn't be able to use the outline color again. Another thing is if it's in the ocean or something I wouldn't want to use blue to outline it because then I can't use blue out here. Now it doesn't have to be literal and if you use the outline color again you know it's not the end of the world it's just I want you to be able to tell what your animal is and the easiest way I can tell you is to use one color for the outline and not use that color again. That's one tip. So one color that I know I'm not going to use and will stand out very good against black is white. A lot of times I tell students just use white for the outlining because it's easy, it's quick, and then it stands out real good and you don't have to worry about not being able to use any colors. You can still use all the colors. All right, here's what you do. Get some glue, cut a few pieces, trace one of the shapes with glue, and then stick pieces on there. You're gonna have to push these on kind of good. You shouldn't have gaps in between the pieces. So if you make your pieces a bit longer in places, it can save you some time. Okay, once you're done with that, remember what I said, every single pencil line is going to get the same color. So everywhere I did something with pencil, that means even if there was like an eye on here, I would still go over that eye with that same color. Okay, so I push all that down real good, and now I know what color I'm not going to use again. I can fill in the rest of this, and it won't get too confusing because you'll you'll be able to look at it and see just that color. So another thing I would suggest here is think back to the molas that had multiple outlines. Uh, I would suggest trying that. I think it's a good idea. So I'm gonna pick a different color, let's say maybe green this time, and I'm going to go around the outside of this animal with that color too. Okay, you might not make it all the way around here, so I would stop after about 40 minutes of work time. So that includes watching my video. So once you hit about 40 minutes, you should stop. That might be here. This might be all you get done today. If this is all you get done today, take a picture of it and submit. If you have more time, you just keep going with this. But don't do anything inside and don't do anything outside today. I'll save that for next time. Okay, so however much of the outlining you can get done in 40 minutes, that includes watching my video, that's what you should do today. Take a picture of it and submit.